The Acid Lab is a core component as part of the GTA Online Drug Wars update. Unfortunately, it's not like other services that are available. Normally, when a new update is pushed, you can just go over to Warstock and it's one of the top items. Unfortunately, it's not the case with the Acid Lab. Now, you can head over to your services within the player menu and it does say that you either need to complete the missions or you can buy it from Warstock. But when you check the Warstock, it isn't there. Maybe this is something that will be releasing at a later date where you can just buy it whenever you want. But for now, you need to go through missions and there's a total of six of them. So in this video, I'm going to guide you through everything every single one so that you can easily unlock this acid lab for free. Well, kinda. The second that you get into GTA Online, Ron will phone you. He'll tell you about the new opportunities and invite you up to Blaine County. This is where you'll see the R symbol just outside of Chef's Place. Head to this location and it will start out like a normal mission, but you'll have a cinematic. A cinematic which lasts about two to three minutes. Here, you'll speak to Ron and you'll meet the new character, which is Dax. This mission is fairly interesting and it's the one of the six that you need to go through. This will introduce you to everything that you need to know at this point. It's called the First Dose 1 Welcome to the Troop and it's very similar to a mission that you'll go through in GTA Story, except of course it's now online. You'll be under attack and you need to hold your ground killing off any nearby enemies going from one side to the other. Eventually, all enemies will be killed, but unfortunately, they stole Dax's RV, which is where you will need to head over to the location for you to retrieve it. Yet again, once you head over there, there's going to be several people that you need to take out, but you'll need to claim the RV and then take it all the way back to Dax. You're not quite done there though. The second that you do pick up Dax, he'll also tell you to drive him down to an abandoned warehouse in Los Santos. This is just a case of going from point A to point B, making sure that the RV doesn't take too much damage as well as you not dying. Once this is finished, mission is complete. A fairly easy one, but it does take about 15 to 20 minutes. This will put you back into free roam and then you'll get a phone call from Dax, which will open up a new opportunity at the exact same location, just outside the warehouse. You'll head over, enter it, and now we're going into first dose two, designated driver. For this, you'll need to pick up a delivery at the docks. Whilst trying to take that delivery to its destination, it will explode. This is normal, there is no way around it from what I can tell. But this isn't mission failed. Instead, Dax is changing his plans. Instead of you having to do the delivery, he's now wanting you to go to the MC Clubhouse to torch their plans just like they torched yours. You'll go to this location, take out all the MC members, head inside their clubhouse, take a picture of the whiteboard here, which will give you a bit more intel. And then you've also got an option where you can go and steal a bag, which will allow you to also steal the weed that is on the table. Unfortunately, this money doesn't go into your pocket though. Once you exit the clubhouse, you'll be under attack again by more MC members. This time, there's about four or five of them, and it's very easy to go and take them out. And then finally, you need to go back to the warehouse, which is just around the corner. Upon completing this mission, you unlock the third mission. First dose free, fatal incursion. This mission will require you to go all the way over to Stab City and destroy all vehicles. Yet again, very similar to a mission that you do within Story. Trevor does the exact same thing at the exact same location. Once you've destroyed all the vehicles there, Dax will tell you to head over to Miller's Fishery, where you'll need to locate the lost meth. The meth is dotted all over the place. It could be found out in the open, plus on top of that, there is also a meth lab, which is located right here. And once you get close enough to it, you will be able to go around the back and enter inside. There will be two enemies inside, and you'll also be able to pick up two bags of meth. In total, you'll need 10. After watching many live streams, the one that people miss is actually out on the docks. So make sure that you're heading over to there. Once you've collected all 10, you'll then need to go back over to the docks, get into the dodo and fly that back over to the freak shop. This time, because you're in a plane and there is next to nowhere to land, they will tell you to go and land it within the storm drain. It's pretty easy to do. And the second that you reach your checkpoint, it will just go to mission complete anyway. So you don't need to be too fancy with this. The fourth mission is by far the easiest one and only takes about seven or eight minutes. It's called First Dose 4 Uncontrolled Substance. For this, about two minutes, 
it is a cutscene. Within the cutscene, you're gifted a beer, but that beer has been spiked. You'll start trooping out and you'll just need to follow Dax. This ends up turning into a transform raise, but it does only include yourself because eventually Dax just disappears. It gets a bit weird because your controls will become inverted and your accelerate is now your reverse. But you just need to keep on following the path that is lined out for you. In all honesty, you can't really fail this. Even if you fall off a bike, it, you just respawn and it doesn't even matter. And at the end, you'll end up falling to the ground and once you hit it, Dax will phone you, that's mission complete. By far the easiest. Mission five is first dose five make war not love you'll need to drive all the way over to the hippie camp dax is there waiting for you in his rv once there you'll need to kill the hippies and also destroy all the labs with this one and this is another problem that i've seen with quite a few other people but it does seem to be a glitch at the time of recording this video where you can go and destroy one of the labs and it doesn't destroy it no matter what you throw at it no matter what you fire at it you just can't destroy it if that happens, you need to kill yourself and then quick restart. Once they're all destroyed, you'll then need to destroy another three hippie vans which are on the road. This also very easy. And then you'll also need to go to the altruist camp to destroy another three and also destroy a chopper. And this will bring us to our sixth and final mission. This is first of six off the rails. You'll need to head all the way over to the humane labs and the good thing with this is that you can go in guns blazing or you can go stealthy. If you're going to go stealthy you'll need to head all the way around the right hand side taking out a few guards here or there but you can jump down and then you need to hack the door. When you hack the door it's not gameplay it just goes into a quick animation and then you're inside. Once inside, you'll need to kill the enemies, then you'll need to take a picture of the whiteboard right here. This will send intel back to Dax, and then Dax will ask you to go and loot all the nearby crates. There are a total of five, and at this point, you shouldn't have any enemies attacking you, so in all honesty, you can take your time, but it really isn't too difficult. You'll then need to leave the humane labs and race against the train to go and change the tracks, which will derail it. You'll need to head over to the location in which it has been derailed, and you'll need to go through each container. Each one requires an animation for you to cut through and you'll need to find the supplies inside. Not every single container will contain the supplies that you need, so you'll just need to go through each one. Finally, once you collect all of these, at the front carriage, there will be the acid lab, and Dax will tell you to go inside and bring that back to the freak shop at the warehouse. And there you go, you finally got the acid lab. I know, it's a lengthy process, and still, we're not done yet. Even though you have the acid lab, it's not set up. When you go into your map, you'll notice that there are three new symbols. This is the Acid Lab setup missions, and there will be three of them to choose from, but you do only need to do one. So I recommend going for the ones which are closest. It's a yellow icon with a smiley face. These missions are completed within free roam, so it won't take you to a separate lobby, and there's not too many enemies that you need to take out. But you'll head over to these locations. Inside, you'll need to take out a few enemies, not too many, and then you'll need to use the forklift truck to put supplies on the back of the truck. There will be three in total. And then drive this back over to the freak shop at the warehouse. You'll be under attack when driving back, but it's honestly not too much of a problem. Now you have the equipment, but you're still not done. You unlock a new character at this point called Mutt, and you'll need to head to the back of the freak shop and spend 750,000 to make the acid lab accessible. Even if you're not sitting on that much money, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. With all the missions that you completed up until this point, they each give you anywhere between 30 to 50,000. Plus, at the end, once you've completed that sixth mission, it also adds an additional 250,000 on top. This won't cover the full cost of 750k, but you should be relatively close. You'll just need to do an activity to get an extra 200k and you can buy into this. There are additional upgrades which are available and the game even tells you at this point, but you don't really need any of them right now. Now you can enter inside the acid lab, but you're still not done. You'll need to take the acid lab outside the warehouse because unfortunately you're not able to start any supply missions with the acid lab inside. So drive that out and then you can do a source mission. The source mission is exactly the same as what you do with something from the MC. This time you'll need to put supplies in the back of a van or lorry, very similar to what we did with the equipment setup to initially find equipment for the acid lab and then drive that back to the location. Because you're dealing with hazardous substances, it's likely that your screen is gonna go a bit weird, making things slightly more difficult whilst you're under attack. But finally, once you drive this back to the warehouse, 
warehouse, you are now done. The Acid Lab is now within your hands. You got that within your services and you are now all set up, ready to start bringing in money. It is a very lengthy process to go through all of this, each mission taking anywhere between eight minutes all the way up to about 25 minutes, depending on the vehicles that you get, as well as how confident you are as a GTA Online player. Now for today's video, we do not have time to go through the best way to make money with this, but that will be an upcoming video. It may even be accessible at the time that you're watching this. So if you do want to see that, there will be a video on screen right now, which will show you the best way to make money with the Acid Lab. If you click that, we'll be over there to guide you through it.